Guess my weight. Fuck. This should be How much do y'all weigh? At the end of the video, let's weigh ourselves yeah, live. And then you guys guess before you comment. Yeah, comment what you think we are right now, and then we'll do a reveal at the end. Okay. I know that they probably carry some weight. They do. You have back problems. I do. Very bad back problems. <laughs> We ask people to guess how much strangers weigh. My name is Faith. Deontay or DJ? I'm Jasmine, and I'm here to guess the weight of some All right, folks. Jasmine. How does that make you feel, guessing other people's weight? Oof. Um, women, not so well. Men, I could care less, because they're men. They have no feelings. <laughs> That's all. No emotion. That's it. How is your relationship to your body? I've always thought that I've had a really great one, and then... Well, I was saying that about all guys. Right what now? happened to equality? That's okay. open misandry. You're saying something men have no feeling? <laughs> they have no feelings. That's all. No emotion. Yeah. As a guy, Forget about to man. accept that. Like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck that. What if I went on cut and said, I'll rank bitches. I don't give a fuck. Bitches ain't shit. Everyone yeah. would go, we have to cut that out. You can't say that. You say it about guys. Hating on men is just a trend now, but whatever. And you're a man hating on other men? What kind of fuck shit? And then, like, I started to gain a little bit of weight and I realized that, like, I was being very critical good. to myself. I'm working on actually learning to love myself rather than that false sense of, like, self love. Um, it's a lot better than what it used to be because I just lost 200 pounds. Now Damn. I feel a lot Damn. more comfortable in my body and 200. I'm just happy where I'm at. So these are the weights. Okay. I'll be trying to assign people Thank today. you. We've got some all over the place. Oh, okay. Are they gave I think it to we've us. got an interesting mix of like heights and things got here. Some <laughs> that's what you're assuming. Larger <laughs> size today. Just from looking at these numbers, yes. It's interesting because it's how you carry it. Some people have said that I look smaller than I weigh, but that's how I carry myself. Are you ready for me to bring in the line? Let's do it. Good, how are you? How are you feeling? It's different now that everyone's right here. <laughs> Would you come up? Yes. What's your name? Daisy. Red flannel. Daisy. Daisy. That's a great name. Thank you. I'm gonna say. Like, <laughs> She's clearly the lightest. Looking at your boobs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of like weight can be held in your, like your boobs mm -hmm. and your butt and stuff. What is your bra size? What's your cup size? I think I'm a 36C. C, okay, 36 C. Same. Same. Okay. Like that. Okay. And she's the what 167. Do you do in your day to day, go to the gym with my roommate in the morning. Okay. Make myself some good lunch. You know. What did you eat today? Ooh. I've well, been she's clearly the 167. Why are we even asking her questions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would be like, okay, let me be on the side. Let me get some like harder. Right here and give you the 167. 167. 167. That's gonna be my safe bet. Because they saw everybody walk in, they said, yeah, I know. 167. She's right. We're gonna roll. Y'all rest and scrap for the last spot. Hello. That's I heaviest. Heaviest. Guys that like, are built like you. I say like hefty or like He's thick. thick. He's I like heavy. Hefty He's and thick. thick guys. Like it's something that is visually to me pl pleasing and appealing. What's your favorite outfit? I, I like flannels. Ooh, um, okay. It kind of hides a lot. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you said you like to cover yourself up. Is that something you've always done? When I can, I yeah. probably would. If I'm in a store and I'm walking like. Damn, if he was Jack, you'd be something. impressive. Look over there, mm. and, you know. I just kind of try to focus on. He slimmed down the face. Around me rather than myself. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast today? A few sips of water, but I've been having some snacks too. I had some. What are the pretzels. What are the snacks back there? Because I'm hearing a lot about really the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you 245. 275. I'm gonna go with 245. Uh, why'd you give me 245? Um, just because of your height and weight is distributed. So, thank you. You're welcome. Hey friend, come on. Yeah, those are the top two. So do you do any like physical activity Damn. Or sports? Do you, do you like to stay? That motherfucker look heavy too. Okay, he might oh, be yeah, the heaviest. Absolutely. He might be the heaviest. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Are you happy with your current weight? Not really. What would you change if you could? Uh just be thinner. I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that like my body will never be how it was. How how is your relationship with your body? Oh, he's That's giving like, me like giant vibes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this dude's like six. I read a nursery rhyme as a kid, and he was one of the motherfuckers. Bro, and then kind his of bones are heavy. Jack and the Beanstalk. Ooh yeah. When the giant come out of yeah, the thing. B five four four. Oh yeah. That was him. I still feel like red flannel is more heavy. He's just more. He's he's tall. He seems to be a bit. Or Wider. does the shorter one on the side fill all that up? It's kind of like an illusion. He's just like short and stocky. You know, I still rock with flannels the heaviest. They're either way, they're the top two. Those are the top two guys. Because I think the flannels, even his arms would be heavier than this guy's arms. Yeah, so one has 30 pounds more than the other. It's 245, 275. I say flannel, yeah. Yeah, heaviest, flannel's heaviest. Yeah. He's 245. My body is 
it's the one I got. The other people sure seem to like it, so That's I should great. probably get on board. So did you find that you were feeling better about yourself from other <clears throat> people's yeah. validation? Okay. Yeah, it was one of those things where like, if enough people tell me something and I just keep denying them, mm. I'm basically just telling that many people Gee. that they're all liars. Mm. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to give you the, the 315. 315. I'm going to say 315. Oh shit, is You're it 315? Oh fuck. That's flannel got to be 315. There's, oh, fuck. there's more weight there. True. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name's Kira. I know I was talking about boobs earlier and weight and things like that. You've got <laughs> large okay. breasts. Yes, I do. I know that they probably carry some weight. They do. You have back problems. I do. Very bad back <laughs> problems. What did you eat today? This morning, my breakfast was a Red Bull. That's hardcore. Oh, I drink Red Bulls almost every day. So. <gasps> and then snacks. <laughs> <laughs> what snacks? I want to know what's next. Well, I started out, what did I start out with? Corn nuts? I think it was corn nuts, yeah, I had the, I had the corn nuts. Do you like to show skin? Um, I do. Yeah. Does that go into how you feel about your body? I love my body, so why wouldn't I want to show it off? I think I'm trying to rule out if you feel bad about you. Do you like the way you look? <laughs> Before I keep asking more. <laughs> I like redheads a lot. I'm really attracted to redhead girls. I would want to be friends with her. Um, it's interesting how red shirt girl here is prompting her. So yeah, do you like your body? Just in case I want to say something here that's going to offend you. I want to show it off. I think I'm trying to rule out if you feel bad about your body based on the number. To me, the number doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. Yeah, Okay. For it's sure. just me. For sure. Why do you think you can't Yeah, why would it matter though? Because my mom said it was rude. Why do you think your mom said that? I have no idea, but what she says goes. What about men? Men have no emotions or feelings and... <laughs> Everyone laughs. Okay. Yeah. Nah, nah, bro. Everybody I'm not laughs. letting us so laugh, All four people. No. But he's gay and dates men. They have no feelings, though. What are you doing here, bro? This is what's wrong with society. We're just so used to it, though. Ha ha, fuck be. men. What? But people will go and post on their Instagram, men's mental health matters. No, it doesn't when y'all act like this. I can't believe it's so normalized to just, men don't matter. And then there's other men there that all, what, laugh along with it? Is they're like, yeah, you right. I'm pretty sure the S rate of deleting yourself is predominantly male. Yeah, and he's a male, which is funny. If it doesn't matter, he has a shirt that says F homophobia. Seems like you care about- Well, you're, you're being a misandrist. F homophobia? Well, he wouldn't like if someone hated on him simply because he was gay. But simply because someone else is a man, yeah. he's allowed to say, you're a loser, you have no feelings. Yeah, men don't have feelings, but he has feelings about people that hate homophobia. Why? I'm missing, this isn't adding up here, sir. It's just, it's sad. And everyone's trying just, to be spunky or And something. everyone laughs and, every, and it doesn't even get cut out of the video. Because even the editor's like, that's funny. And you hear so much about misogyny, misogynist. Then you get, oh, you're misogynist. Okay, all right, let's stop the some misogyny. Oh, but you could do open misandry and it's a joke for everyone. I just find that so crazy how the rules just don't apply to everyone. I'm going to roll with 275. 275, 245. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And last but not least. Hi. Hello. So what did you eat today? Uh, they had nuts. <laughs> I ate some nuts. <laughs> did I get a bag of these nuts? Like, I feel like everybody's just talking about some nuts. Do you like to do anything pretty like active? As um, well? I like to go for like a walk around my neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. I like to go to like metal concerts. I don't go super hard. Yeah. Like I'm not like slam dancing in the pit or nothing. But What's slam dancing? I've seen people like- It's just like- Punching and- Thrashing your- Yeah, just going yeah. crazy. <laughs> Does your weight mean something to you? Previously in life it has meant a lot. Yeah. Negatively. Lately more positively. I care more about just being healthy versus like a number on a scale. Yes. Do you find yourself carrying either consciously or unconsciously any kind of like bias toward people who are currently fat? Not necessarily. A, I would never judge somebody mm -hmm. uh, based on anything because it's a struggle. Like I was there. You just said men what? have no feelings. He wouldn't judge anyone other than men. <laughs> That's what, what he meant to say. say. Sorry, I, you're right. That's what he meant to say. It just proves that people just say buzz phrases. I would never judge anyone yeah. based off of anything. Except for if you're a man, then I'll shit on you. Yeah, he's <laughs> the type of person that thinks he's saying all the right things, but then when you actually hear it back, it's like, you contradict yourself. I know what it feels like. So men do have feelings. You said earlier men don't have feelings, but it seems like they do. Do they? You've shown feelings this whole time. Yeah. Have I? In a good yes. way, yeah. I think that's just transparency. <laughs> there we go. Call them out. Thank you. I feel like that's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> that's questionable. And then look so at him now. It's like, no. Nah. Feelings thing is because I'm a trans man. So mm -hmm. I've lived as a fat woman and a fat man. So I kind of see, at least in the realm of being a fat person, mm -hmm. like I do think that 
men struggle just as much as women do, just in a different way. You're right about that. And any of any gender. Thank you. Oh, well, you are right. Struggle with the same internalized fat phobia that yeah. our society has. So. Um, well, this is the only number I have left. So. <laughs> Look, and you're speechless. You ain't got yeah. shit to say. You just yeah. shut him up. He didn't argue back. Uh, back to the game. Um, and the fact that he's trans and he, he's been on both sides. Like, actually, I've known a big difference too, being a man too. They don't get as much love and respect when it comes to my feelings. And yep. Thank you. Thank you. He's not used to people calling him out. And you have the trans brother he who- been on, He been on both sides. Walking down the street, most people will go, that's a man. In essence, society will treat that person as a man. So they had the experience, they had the unfortunate experience of learning what it's like to be a fat man. And thank you yeah. for challenging this misandrous brother. And that was pretty ballsy because we yeah, were talking about it and then it got addressed. That was good. <laughs> Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. And then speechless. I'll just give it a look. Well, the last number. <laughs> Yeah, this. He said it was transparency. No, he didn't even want to admit that he was mine's, wrong, mine's transparency. Yeah, transparency? He just threw a word Wait. out there. He just threw a word out No, no, what are you talking about? What does transparency have to do with you saying that men have no feelings? So you're being transparent about it? No. He wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. I'm Absolute right. roasted his ass. Thank you, that was satisfying. Thank you. That's all that. Look at his face. Take a look. And if you want to switch one, you can do that, and then I want you to All put right. them in order. I feel like these- right, The numbers are so close, though. Yeah, 20, like, 20 pounds here. There. Like, Flannel has to be 315. Two, uh, 296 has to be the giant. And the two, they can fight for the other two. The what, 275, 245? I feel like these two need to switch. You drop over, you switch, you switch. Okay, raise your hand. If Faith that guy's away. big. I'm gonna hear all the hands. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, flannel was heavy. <clears throat> One out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> no. Switch your weights, please. And Watch. Weight. We got a right. Order. Yep. Flannel's heaviest. Yes, weights. <laughs> I had, okay. I should have just like switched people. Oh. One out of five. Hey, look at that. I'll take that. So you're the only one that I got Yay. right. Yay. Yeah, you know what? Relationship with your body and your weight. I would have gotten this right if I was there. My fitness journey. I was going through a lot of mental stuff. And so I went to working out as a coping mechanism. Okay. It was healthy at first, uh -huh. but then it became a little toxic because I would stop myself from going out with friends because oh. I didn't want to eat too much. Ever since then, I still work out like four times a week but I let myself eat what I need to eat so I have a really good relationship now. Good. I need to get back in the gym. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> the big oh, laugh. Dear. Talk to me miss. So you got me wrong. Why did you put me at 275? I don't have very large breasts so I don't think I really know like actually kind the of experience? how much weight. She has to just talk about that. Right? Why do you think I was fatter? Um. <laughs> The, the, the boobs, you have big boobs. I actually got off because of COVID because I couldn't get my next one. Mm -hmm. This started my journey with my weight and I had gained weight so, so fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but birth control weight is so hard to lose. Like yeah. it's almost impossible to lose. Do you find it frustrating that people don't consider all of the ways that weight can fluctuate? Usually people associate it with like food. It was solely hormonal. I have learned to just love my body because I only have one life and one body and so. Hell yeah. Yeah. I support that. Get on up here. All right, so you got me wrong, but you were close. I got you wrong, <laughs> but I was close. Okay, so how do you feel about 275? Um, it's right. <laughs> it's right, right. That's my weight. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. were saying earlier that you feel healthy when you feel healthy mentally or you just feel good like, in your yes. skin. Yes, and, and that's something that I've had to like kind of coach myself into believing. Absolutely. Um, it's like, have you always been a little bit heavy? Yeah, so I have um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which mm. just like in short, it has made it really hard to lose weight my entire life, which like I'm, I'm cool with it now, but as a kid, I heard a lot of like, like I would get told I was so fat, I was gonna get diabetes and my like toes would get cut off. Like and my, that has nothing to my do mom. with that. So you get the gist you of the gist. Yeah, 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 they ranked down. Um, and now tell me why you're your weight. What? Okay. Is there, there's a moment here yeah, where- Yeah, I just want to fast forward to it. There we go. I don't know, I always look at people that have suspenders on who have a belly and I'm like, that looks good. That looks awesome. Yeah, and That's so I kind of was just like, it highlights it in a way that makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, I never thought of suspenders that way. Yeah. So well, thank you, Matthew. Yes, thank you. Yeah, right, Fernando. You still, to me, 
don't look 315 pounds. I think a lot of it's in my ass, for me not. Is it, you have a big, you have a big butt? So. You got a big butt? Can I see yeah. it? Is it weird? Oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm He's blessed. shaking, Loki. Oh, really? How do you feel about your butt? Are no, you like, good. happy about I guess it? that's what I would skip to in the video. With it. Be trying some pants on, and they don't fit, and my thighs and my butt just won't make it in, so. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I've never had that problem. Is that one of your biggest insecurities? I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm who I am, so I'm not gonna, yeah. you know, beat myself up too much over it. My girlfriend likes my butt a lot. Nice, so, I was yeah. gonna say, she's a butt girl, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourself happy these days? It's just a number, so it's not too bad. You know, I find myself attractive and everything, so. So what do you see next for your body? My goal weight would probably be like 240. Yeah. So I, I just wanna find like a healthy lifestyle. I wanna be able to go to the gym and kind of feel good about myself every day. The biggest piece of advice that I can give anyone is to find their why. Your why is gonna be your reasoning for losing, and as long as you stick with that, then that'll kind of be the motivation that you need. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you. Thank you. I thought men had no feelings, why are you trying yeah, to help them out? Yeah, I listening to you. I base my type of stuff off of like, uh, in terms of body weight and body fat index. There's charts that will show if you are a six, seven, whatever, here's a healthy weight mm -hmm. and healthy body fat percentage. That's what I base my shit off of. So the guy out there saying at the end, it's just a number. Well, have you seen my thousand pound, this thousand pound sisters? Uh, it's just a number. It comes with the number. You know, things come with that. You yeah. want to be in the a certain number in terms of if you want to live longer yeah. if you don't okay, then, okay yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want i don't give a fuck i'll follow my own guidelines and rules you can follow yours it's america glad that the guy got called out all right did you guys comment uh our weights we are about to reveal it comment right now see if you get it you know they be like quick comment real quick just who do you think's heaviest noah rob or ryan i used to wrestle so we used to have weigh-ins and we used to nearly be naked and going up there to try to make the weight ufc fighters no if you didn't make the weight i had to go use the restroom see if i can release anything and come back and whatever. Um, I had a friend, his name was Marty, and he was a really good wrestler. And at lunch, he would have a tiny spoon and have to eat applesauce with his tiny spoon. And I was like, he's like, yeah, it just helps me eat less. I was like, and he was a champion. He was a, he was a prolific wrestler. And they'd have to cut weight and wear these sweat suits and all this bullshit. But what it takes. Who's it going first? All right, we stripping down a little bit. I ain't gonna do the whole balls out. Sky's here, by the way. Hey. 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 Here we go. Let's see if this bitch is on. Work. It's on, it's definitely on. Hold on, ready? All right, ready? 176. 176. I have hovered at around 174 to 177. Wait a long time. That's Dang. my maintenance weight right there. I'm gonna guess I'm around like 165 or something like that. Okay. 163. Get right. All right. All right. I'm about 6'1. So there's a little height weight comparison. 5'9. Is that like average for someone my height? Like, I don't know what, what average of 5'9 would be. Here goes Noah. Well, I got the fucking six pound strawberry park sweatsuit. Wait, that's so. gonna fire though. I've actually lost weight. I used to hover from 196 to 198 from like 2018. And then in May of this year, I started eating a little different. So I finally got to the 180s, which I haven't been since high school. So yeah. maybe hoodie off? Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. 185. Hey. hey! I don't even know what my weight body goal is, but I do like being in the 180s. I'm gonna try to get to like 175 just to get shredded at one point, but we'll just say so. Did y'all get the answers right? Hey! You know, part of me wants to be like 200. I don't know why. You gotta eat a lot. Like pack some muscle on, right? Like a lot of muscle. But then again, you, you could be like, I think if you're sh shredded, like where you have really good uh, low body fat and you have a decent amount of muscularity, it makes you look heavier. So you could look at a guy who's 170 be like, oh, he's Jack, but like he's he's 170 or he's 150 or something like. So I don't know. I, maybe I don't want to be 200 then. Maybe I just want to look better. Then you need to eat more of that then. Meatloaf. You want some sky meatloaf? Hey, Wendy's. Wait, no, I actually can't give you any because I'm trying to eat the whole thing. <laughs> it's it's a, I he needs the protein. Love. I hate meatloaf. Did Did you grow up on uh, Amanda Show Meatloaf Crunch? Mm -mm. Growing up, Crunch. meatloaf was my least favorite meal that my mom would make, and she would make me sit there and eat the whole plate. Would turn off the lights, everything, I could not leave the table until I ate the meatloaf and I'm still scarred to this Damn. Time. Damn, but you were about to eat it. Even just smelling, I was doing it for the bit. You really I'm were dedicated. gonna eat it. So you would still eat it if I was like, come on. Mm -hmm. Just for you. I appreciate that, but I would never make you relive that. But the smell is getting the to you. The smell is giving me PTSD, yeah. My mom would make meatloaf occasionally. My mom made it with ketchup. Like she put ketchup on top. That's crazy. No wonder you didn't like it. <laughs> well, bye.